Yo, it's your boy Sunny Digital, and this is not an interview, and you know I'm with my boy Manny Supreme. Let's get it. And I'm only asking them nine questions as we play a game of pool. Sonny, you're gonna start the game off. Like, what can you say was the meaning behind naming your project Dolores Sun? I feel like it just kind of described like me as a whole. So, you know, I'm Sonny, I see you, my boy. I'm Dolores Sun, you know, I feel like that says a lot, you know. I, was, I made the whole project under a different name. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end, that's when I came up with the name. I'm gonna push the seven, the burgundy seven up there to that right pocket. So you play for real. I, when I first nah. asked him, he was like, nah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I okay. don't. I used to play a little more, but see? Is you that see? a scratch? What was the first software that you like first started making beats on? And do you remember how old you were? Fruity Loops, still like my, my main go-to. One of my favorite beats that you ever produce is uh, After Party by uh, Don Tyler. Do you remember where you were when you made that? Yeah, what yeah. What was that vibe? Shit, we was in Hawaii. Like, we was working on Astro World and shit. Don Tolliver came in as a writer on the project. Cause he came in the room, did like five just straight bangers, bro. And that was one on After Party, it was one on stuff though. Travis F. Lewis all out the um, working on this project. Seven is one right there. Top left. Yeah. Ah! I oh, need bro. that dollar. Do you remember your first time playing pool? I might have got it from my uncle. You got a whole bunch of shots right here. A whole bunch. Do you remember what day of the week you made the beat for Tuesday? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, just, I know we made we made all of those songs in one day. It wasn't like um, just that specific song. We did like a whole project in one day, bro. Like, for real? yeah. You remember where you were at? Yeah, we was at Metro House. You know what's so crazy, bro? Even then, well, I gotta give props to a nigga like Mike Will. He was tapped in with McConan way back before we were, bro. Show shot. On behalf of producers, right, what would you feel like is like the most efficient way for a producer in 2024 to get a placement? Really analyze my career. They, they will see that none of the places that I got were like ever like big, though. All these people was like people who I knew from the very beginning. I don't believe in that shit, though, because them niggas gonna treat you wrong anyway. They're not gonna pay you what you want. No, AI is so very I didn't call, much prevalent. I didn't call that shot, so you got it, though. I'm so it's, it's still on me? Yo, sure, sure. It's a problem. I'm glad you ain't trying to cheat on me, brother. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna treat you, man. I ain't gonna treat you, man. We got dollar on the line, man. Good. Like I said before, you know, AI is so very much prevalent now in 2024. Do you feel like the future of AI will, like, help or hurt the music industry? It's gonna definitely help it, bro. The only thing that's gonna, quote, unquote, hurt it is the business and shit. Don't want people try to handle business about AI and stuff. Like, how old were you when you got your first deal? 18. Do you remember what song? Rex on Rex. Mm. Oh! Ah! Oh. They gonna be talking shit about oh, us about this game. 